and welcome back. This video is the start of the left wing. Now, being that I did a pretty detailed uh, video recording of the right wing build, I'm going to fast forward through a lot of the repetitive steps. Uh, so as you see me preparing some of these ribs, I'm going to show one, maybe two, but then kind of skip the rest and go to the next step. Um, for those who may be new to the, the channel and haven't had a chance, um, if you go back to the right wing uh, videos, it'll show every step pretty much as I went through. Now I will show the steps that are different. Uh, for example, the electrical wiring, there's some different uh, components that get wired in. Um, and some other uh, things like that, like the pedo system, all of that stuff I will show in detail during the left hand build. But for the most part, it'll kind of be truncated or, or abbreviated, so to say, because, well, you've seen it already. It's same thing, just the other side, essentially. So with that, videos are going to be a little bit fewer and farther between uh, for a little while. I've recently accepted a new position uh, working for a new company out of Portland, Oregon, and will be relocating probably here in the next week and a half. And what that'll mean is that uh, I won't have access to my build. Um, I will be moving up, but uh, my family will be staying here in Arizona until my wife can find a job up in the uh, Portland area. And then uh, we'll have to figure out when and how we're going to get all of these uh, pieces moved up to wherever we relocate to. Uh, so in the meantime, it, uh, most of it will be put into my hangar where I keep my Cherokee uh, to keep it in storage until I can get back to it and figure out what I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to the opportunity, but it means it's going to be a lot of logistics trying to figure out uh, when and how I can move everything. Uh, trying to find a location up in Oregon, a house with a shop, uh, so that I'll have plenty of room to continue building uh, the rest of this airplane. So we'll see how it goes. And again, I'll, I'll keep you posted, but, uh, just fair warning that videos will be a little fewer coming. So anyway, like I said, going on through the rest of this left wing process, I have completed most of the preparatory work for the spar. And as I'd mentioned before, I've done the fuel tank and the vast majority of the leading edge. So, in reality, this build is going to be a little quicker than the right side because uh, I've already completed the, the heavy hitters. So I'm expecting once I'm able to actually get back to working on this on, 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 a, on a regular basis, that it won't take more than maybe two months worth of work. We'll see when that actually happens now that I'm moving, but that's kind of the plan. Now, some of the Things that, uh, as a reminder, things that you had to worry about or things you had to look out for as you're putting these together um, and some some hints and tips. There you saw me dimpling the, the holes, the size 40 holes that the skins will attach to. I'm actually using the substructure dimples, which are a slightly, uh, we're talking, I think, 11 thousandths uh, deeper than a standard die. And that's to allow the skins to fit a little bit better when you're going to rivet the skins to the frame. Uh, that's one of the things I picked up. I believe I picked it up from Aircraft Spruce, but it it makes a little bit of a difference and it allows the ribs to sit a little bit better against the skins. At least that's been my experience. So now I'm working on the bracket that holds the aileron actuator to the inner rib of the left wing. Uh, this is the one in the previous video where I had mentioned I saw it bending a little bit as I torqued down the actuator in place. So it's just a couple of, of plates that you put together uh, with a bearing in, in the between. You line everything up and uh, just essentially kind of trim off some of the edges a little bit to smooth them off. Uh, but it all fits fairly well. This is also where the electrical connectors will uh, tie into or anchor into on the inner rib for when you uh, do all the electrical wiring for the left wing. So some of the components that I build for this this wing, I'll I'll show the entire process like this piece here, 
And then, like I said, others where it's repetitive, I'll show maybe the first incidents and then fast forward to the rest of, of whatever I'm doing. Now, one of the things that I've found that I've kind of had to catch myself on is getting too, uh, too cocky, I guess, um, that idea, oh, I've done this before, so this is, this is how you do it, and just go ahead and do it without really looking at the instructions. There's a time or two where it bit me while I was putting this left side together. Um, I noticed that there was a, a part where I started putting everything together and just zipping through and then realized I had a rib upside down and that I had actually riveted it in place. And you'll, you'll see that most likely in the next video. Um, so just a word of caution as you, uh, if you've started with the left wing, you're now moving on to the right or you did like I did where you started with the right and are moving on to the left, whichever the case may be, just be very cognizant of the idea that that's an easy trap to fall into and watch you know watch yourself and make sure that you uh, pay attention to that now this is the most outside rib uh, I call the four I believe the 14th rib uh, the instructions have you cut off the end piece there but keep the radius and I did that on the right wing I don't recall exactly why it's set up that way I believe it has to do with uh, how it ties into the leading edge or the spar i don't recall exactly but basically just took the dremel like you saw with a disc and cut off the end making sure that you keep the radius bend of that out you know the, the trailing edge flange there and now like i said uh this is the left spar uh, i've done all the preparatory work when i worked on the right spar so all that's complete all the uh pieces are put in place and uh now it's just a matter of going and taking the bolts out and uh, getting it ready for putting the, the ribs in place. So I'm going to go ahead and let this video run out here. Again, this is just a short compilation of what I've done to this point on the left wing. Uh, for those who continue to watch these videos, I appreciate it. If you get a chance, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and you'll get notified anytime I put these out. We'll see you next time.